Hello educators! In this video I'm going to show you how to post an assignment on to Brightspace. So you're going to obviously sign into your Brightspace. Here's mine, it looks like this. Um, this is just my home page. So I'm going to begin by going into assignments. You're going to click on new assignment. The assignment that I am going to upload is actually a Google slideshow. So it's a study guide that I've made up on Google Slides. So I'm going to call it data management study guide. Okay, so now I'm ready to put in a link to my Google Slides. So this is how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into my Google slide. Here it is. This is what I want to share with the students. It's just got a variety of slides with some multiple choice questions on them. So I need to get my link. So I'm going to click on share. Um, I usually change the link to anyone with the link. Anyone with the link can view. This is just because sometimes my students are signing in using non-board emails the odd time, so just eliminates them having an issue getting into the assignment. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna click Copy Link. I'm gonna go back to my assignment, and right here I'm gonna click that little chain link icon. I'm going to scroll down and go to URL. And that's where I'm going to paste in my Google Slides um, data management study guide. So right now is very important. This is where I need to change my link. If I post the link as it is, what will happen is everybody's going to be going into the same document and changing it. I don't want to do that. I could tell my students to open up a copy and uh, open up the document and make a copy. But I find that there's always the odd student who forgets to do that and then they are editing my original. So what we want to do is we want to force a copy. So to do that, we're just going to click here and we're going to change edit to say copy. Okay? That's all you have to do. And now you can give it a title. So I'm going to call it same data management study guide. Okay, and you can put whole window, same frame. I usually always just click new window, insert. Okay, you could write some more instructions below if you want to. Uh, you can add a picture, anything you want to below. Okay, uh, you could also under add attachment, add a rubric or something like that if you needed to um, put that with your assignment. So mine's pretty much ready. What I need to do now is I want to change the category. So earlier this year I set up a bunch of different categories. So you're going to be able to see mine. So I have a few categories for language centers, word study, reading responses, writing tasks. I've just got one section for math and you can see the rest of my subjects. So I'm going to click on math because I want this to go all under math assignments. Um, I can also add a score. I'm not going to for this because it's just for studying purposes. I could add a rubric. Okay, um, so now I'm ready to save and close. Okay, now once I've done this, they will be able to see the assignment. So I'm going to show you from a student view. So I'm going to go view as student. And this is what it's going to look like from their end. I'm going to tell them you're going to go to assignments and you're going to go to the math section. So theirs is going to look like this. There's all their language. Uh, so it looks like we got to go to the next page. go and it's under it's going to put it right at the bottom you can see all my data management lessons I post my lessons as assignments 
and students hand them in that way. And then I know that they are doing their daily lessons. I don't necessarily mark every lesson, but they hand them in. So here it is, data management study guide. So the student is going to click on that. And they're going to click on the link here. And here is the force a copy. Would you like to make a copy of data, ma data management study guide? Yes, they were. Will. So they're going to click make a copy. And now they have their own personal copy. I don't need to worry about any changes being made on my original document. I don't need to worry about a student forgetting to make a copy. This automatically uh, adds that into the process of opening it up. Okay, now the student can fill this in and return it to me on Brightspace. Check out more videos for uh, simple how-tos on Brightspace. Thanks for visiting.